Hi. Welcome Transformers fans, my name is Composite Energio and back with me again are my two squires. To my right, Energon. Hi. To my left, Enerjack. Hi. And today we're going to be reviewing the Transformers The Last Night Deluxe Class Skulltron. Wait, he was in the movie? Yeah, he was. He was in The Last Night. He was, um, I'll explain more in his robot mode because you, you can't see it in this mode but you can in his uh, robot mode, okay? Okay, you, you'll see. You'll probably recognize him from the, the Last Night movie. So yeah, this is Skullatron in his dragon mode. And this is actually a very... It, it's a very cool dragon mode, right guys? Yeah. yeah. You like it? It, it? it almost looks like the one in the movie where the, all the um, night... Well, no, 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 no. That, that guy's coming later. But, um... Yeah, but I said he just needs his three heads. I know. Just, but, heads. Uh, 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 wait for that. But, okay, now just to explain something about dragons, because there are classifications of them. This is actually a very specific dragon. A fire dragon? No. The name of this dragon is called a wyvern. What? Yeah, this is called a wyvern because it has two very specific, um, uh, uh, char uh what's the word I'm looking for? Characteristics that he has. He, he, uh, details. He has two details that make him, uh, that qualify him to be called a, wi a, a wyvern. Which is a very, it's a specific type of dragon. You okay. listening? Yeah. Uh, okay. Now, you're probably wondering what a wyvern is, right? Yeah. All right. And for any um, uh, Monster Hunter fans out there, you'll probably recognize this type of creature. So, yeah, this specific dragon is called a wyvern. And the two details that, that classify it as a wyvern is the fact that the tail is barbed. And his tail is barbed. Which is, was he ever repainted? I'll explain that later. I don't. I don't talk about that now. I talk about that towards the end. So yeah, his tail is barbed, which means, which means, which means it's spiky, right, guys? Yeah. Okay. And the other detail is that the arms, his wings are on his uh, what would be his forelegs. So yeah, the front legs. That makes no sense. The front. Well, how, well, how does that not make any sense? Like how are his arms and dragon wings front legs? Well, that's why he. That's why it's a very specific dragon. See? His front legs, his his forelegs or front arms or whatever also are also the wings. Cool. And it, since it, he has the wings on his arms or his forelegs and also has a barbed tail. <laughs> it's it, that's just your imagination. But yeah. Like I said, any Monster Hunter fans out there will recognize this kind of creature. But yeah, this is called this is a wyvern because the arms have the wings and the tail is barbed. So those two little details classify this as a wyvern. So yeah, there's a little lesson for everyone out there and for you two. Okay. For my two uh, squires here. Because we didn't know that. Yeah, they didn't know. There are different types of dragons. And it's not just ones that breathe fire and ones that breathe ice or whatever. Depending on what you... Um, depending on the, um, the lore or whatever mythos you're looking into, it depends on what type of dragons you encounter. Yeah, I know. I know earth dragons, lightning dragons... Air dragons. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We, we all know you play Dragon Veil. Vale. All right, so yeah, this is his uh, dragon mode, this beast mode. Really nice beast mode, really cool. Um, one minor complaint, his ball joints are a bit too loose. He's basically chock full of ball joints, and they are very loose, as you can see. It does sort of uh, droop a bit when I'm moving around with him. Ball joints do what ball joints do. Exactly, but we're not there yet. But yeah, in terms of posability, yeah, this guy's full of them. He's got ball joint here, bend there. This also moves around. Uh, ball joint there, bend there, head also on ball joint, mouth moves. Is a ball joint. I have already explained this to you. It's that. It's that and this kind of connection. It gives it a lot of range, uh, a wide range of movement. So, so, and so Deacon, you know our star screen we have? The horns move. You know how its feet come off all the time? Yeah. Yeah, ball like joints. That, exactly. It has ball joints. Alright, the hind legs, the hind legs are also on ball joints. They are on ball joints. They can bend at their knees and rotation at the foot on the feet. These are on ball joints and can bend and wings can also move. So yeah, this guy has a lot of articulation. Quite a lot and I really like it for that. But I guess the one and a half complaints that I have, one major one is that I wish the ball joints were a bit tighter. But there is a way to fix that. And the other complaint would be that I kind of wish that the robot mode feet weren't visible. What? Yeah, these are the robot's feet. Right here, this and this, but that's because of the way it, it, it's transformed. There's a very our dragon's supposed to have feet on their neck, or does tails move? 
Exactly. I kind of I kind of would have liked if he didn't have his robot mode feet on his on his, on the visible on the dragon. And the other thing that I wish is his, his ball joints were a little tighter. But yeah, that aside, this is actually a very nice, very nice looking dragon mode. And if you have imagination, you can pretend that those feet aren't there. Or you can like like extra bits of armor or something like scales. But that aside, and and that's something that I felt could have been fixed. Maybe if it was like a, a bigger size or something. Maybe not a deluxe. Maybe a Voyager could have uh, been better fixed. So let's get on to a transformation. And another thing I like about this guy is that he has a very cool transformation. It's very unique. So um, first off, we first have to take this off his back, which is is his uh his sword. Yeah, did you guys notice that his sword was hanging out from back there? No. There you go. It, it, it's camouflage. So I'm going to take the sword, put it off to the side. So let's get on to a transformation. First, we fold this forward, rotate this, and fold this in. And fold out one foot. Yeah. So then we pull this out. We pull this back. Pull this back. Hold on, hold on. Fold, fold these forward. I'm going to fold all the way like that. And then you take this part. Complete. Rotate. No, no, not completely. Just, just watch. Well, might as well do the, the other foot. Just fold the leg, the tail in and Ooh. pull out the foot. Well, then take this piece. I will show you. I will show you. That's why you need to rotate this this way. And then for this piece, rotate this. These actually rotate that way. And then, with some clearance, you move face. some stuff out of the way. Just wait a minute. Open this up. Bring this down. And then connect them here. Connect them right there at the hip. Rotate those forward. Ooh. And then put this back in. The and then, yes, as you can see the face. Just hold on. Then slide this down. This can, hold on, fold this back. Slide this down. Mm -hmm. Then bring it, bring it forward. And then make sure you clip, you do this connection here, make sure you get that connection in. Make sure that in, make sure you can, you can adjust the shoulder bits to connect it. Make sure they're connected and then if done correctly, it's very, it's a nice and tight and fit. Not yet. Adjust the wings a bit so they're like that. And then take this, fold down these claws to have the hands. Claws to have hands. Yeah. Let me fold out the arms. Adjust the feet a bit. He's slow the head. Yeah, he does. Well, he is. So he is supposed to be a knight. Hold on, unpegged here. Like yeah, he's one of the. Oh yeah, I know. I recognize this knight. Yeah, the face gave it away, didn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Hold on. Not yet. And there he is, hey, completely he transformed. Where's he from again? And here's he sword from the movie Transformers: The Last Knight, which he can yeah, hold. Like, what part I forget? Hold on, Jackie. Jackie. Uh, do you remember where he's from? What part of the movie? Was he the one? Was he one of the two that Optimus killed? No, he didn't kill any knights. No, 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 he wasn't. No, he didn't kill those two. No, it wasn't those two. This was the one that uh, the Skull. Well, this is Skulltron in his really, really cool robot mode. This is actually my favorite part of the of the figures. This robot mode, and the face is incredibly gruesome, but he did show up in the movie. Wait. He was the one that attacked, that was protecting Merlin's staff in the movie. Do you remember? It's the one that, that sort of, um, that the guy, Cade Yeager, was climbing on top of and was looking at him. And he commented on, he, and, he, and he asked what happened to his face. Yeah. And then he woke up and, and said, protect the staff. Protect the staff. Remember that? Yeah. Yeah. He was the first knight that woke up, that they knocked, that the military knocked over the edge. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's him. This is Skulltron. The one who gave him the staff. What? No, 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 no. It's the one that attacked them. That oh. had two swords and attacked the, the, the good guys. Oh, yeah. One sword. What happened? Because they only gave him one sword. So you, you, you complain too much. So enough. Let's get on to Skulltron here. So yeah, Skulltron was in the movie. He was in for that one scene and he, where he was protecting the staff. What happened? Mm -hmm. Shut up. Not yet. We're not there yet. I gotta show off articulation. So yeah, really cool. Let me show off some articulation. Shoulder pads do move. Ball joints here. There is an elbow there. And the hand can rotate. So he does have wrist articulation, which is really nice. Head is on a ball joint. I said gruesome head, but it looks like it does in the movie. Uh, the wings back here can also move out. 
and can actually give him some really nice wing uh, wing poses too. Can he fly? Yeah, I can imagine this guy can fly because he has his wings right there. So not only can he have like a cool looking cape, but he can also. Oh, I guess one other, one minor complaint is that th I feel that these pop off. Th this connection here kind of pops off too frequently. But yeah, you can have him have some nice uh, wing poses. He never did that in the movie. Of course not. They didn't only they, they only transformed to a dragon when they all when all twelve of them combined. But I do like that the toy actually decided to make all of them turn into dragons. That, that's cool. So, um, what else? Uh, there's rotation here. Yeah, but if you have them all, can you like, transform them all together to get, make the three-headed dragon? No, 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 no. They actually are making that figure, but it's only with two with two knights. Oh. So, hold on. Ball joints here. Rotation there. And me. And a little bit of... And, and a ball joint is on the... And the foot's on a ball joint. So, yeah. This guy, just like his dragon mode, has a lot of articulation. I guess one tiny, tiny complaint is that the dragon tail and the dragon head are right behind his legs. So the same thing is like the ro like the robot mode, the feet can be seen in dragon mode and the head and tail can be seen in the night mode. So it's a bit of a bummer, but yeah. And now I actually really like his paint job because it makes him look really old and weathered. I actually really like that. And like I said, the skull face looks exactly like it did in the movie. His sword also is all is, is like looks like it's uh, rusted. Because if you notice, it's not really clean and straight. It's all rusted and, and sort of worn out. And I like that little detail. Plus, you have this little peg here. You can put it on his side here. So he can actually have it holstered. So there you go. Always love when, uh, when, when, they, ha always love when they have this little feature. So yeah, this is a great figure. And now, to answer your question, Johnny, if he's been repainted. Actually, Skullatron here is a repaint. The first figure that uh that came out for this in the same line was uh, Steelbane, was the the last night deluxe class Steelbane. It's basically the same figure. This is a straight repaint except with a different head, back up, different head and a different uh, sword. Steelbane sword is, is is a lot cleaner and straighter, but it's the same dragon mode, same everything, but a straight repaint. And obviously had a, has a much cleaner head. Like Steelbane looks like a newer knight than um, Skullatron here. Skullatron here looks like he's old. Like he's like he, he looks a thousand years old. And and yeah, to explain why I have Skullatron and not Steelbane, there is a story behind it. Why does he look old? Because he's over a thousand years old. Uh, let's see, he was stuck underwater for over a thousand years, and that affected him. That his face fell off because of age. It wasn't in a fight. So yeah. Now I was, uh, now just to continue my story, when I w I was originally planning to get Steelbane, because that was the one I was originally gonna get. I wasn't planning on getting Skullatron, but I ended up finding him before a uh, Steelbane, and once I had him in in my hands, I actually really liked how he looked. He looks a lot better than his than his uh his photos did. The photos did not did not do this uh this he figure justice he justice. What? Yeah, he does. Like I said, the dragon mode is, is cool, but the robot mode is where he shines. This looks really awesome. It's a really nice uh, night mode. And so, yeah, he is a repaint and a uh, Toys R Us exclusive. You can only find this guy in Toys R Us. So I ended up finding him first before Steelbane. And he and I was searching for Steelbane for a good couple of weeks now. Searching for Steel for a good couple of weeks. Yeah, like uh, almost a month looking for Steelbane. And I just could never, could not find him. No matter where I went, I couldn't find him. And then one day I found, I went to Toys R Us and found Skullatron, and I'm like, you know what? He looks a lot better than I thought, and he actually did have a scene in the movie. Steelbane, when I, I looked into it, Steelbane doesn't really, doesn't really show up in the movie. Maybe in like the background or something, but Skullatron actually had a scene. And he actually did something. Is that why you picked him? I, I picked him because I found the first, and he looks a lot better than, than I expected. Because the first pictures I saw of this guy didn't didn't really he didn't really look too good. It looked like it was the same thing as Steelbane, just with a different head. He doesn't he doesn't stand up though. Yeah, he does. He's standing up right now. Yeah, but he's bending down a little. That's because he's on a, that's because he's on this soft surface. So yeah, so yeah. Overall, I highly recommend this guy or Steelbane. I think they're both equally just as good. I just happened to find this guy first, and this guy actually did do something in the movie. Not much, but he did something. So. What do you guys think? Like him. Jackie, you like it? Yeah. Johnny, you like it? Yeah. Like you both you both think he looks cool? Yeah. Well, he thinks Don't so too. Yeah, he thinks so too. He's he's embarrassed. So, 
yeah, overall, great figure, approved both by my squires, and yeah, so yeah, this has been my review of the Transformers The Last Night Deluxe Class Skullatron. This is Composite Energo, Composite Energon, and Composite Energack, signing off. Peace Bye. out. Yeah, peace out. Peace out. Peace out. Peace out. Peace out. Yeah, yeah. Peace out. Peace out.